This is Find Your Daily Calm. I'm Sel Gaston. Welcome. Faith, Humor, and Resilience Hello, dear friends. Welcome to another episode of Find Your Daily Calm. Today we're exploring a profound connection between faith, humor, and resilience. This journey is inspired by the insightful words of Stephen Colbert, a man who masterfully weaves these elements into his life and work. In a moment of lightheartedness, Colbert once quipped, Ultimately, us all being mortal, the faith will win out in the end. But I certainly hope when I get to heaven, Jesus has a sense of humor. This blend of jest and sincerity is quintessential Colbert. He followed this with a deeper reflection, explaining that his faith is rooted in love and sacrifice, a commitment to giving oneself to others. For him, and perhaps for many of us, faith reassures us that death is not defeat. Colbert also discussed the film Belfast, noting how it intertwines humor and sadness. He described it as funny and it's sad and it's funny about being sad. In the same way that sadness is like a little bit of an emotional death, but not a defeat if you can find a way to laugh about it. This idea that laughter can coexist with sadness and even mitigate our fear of it, is powerful. It reminds us that laughter can be a shield against despair. Reflecting on these thoughts, I'm reminded of a poignant quote from the American poet Robert Hayden, shared by Colbert. We must not be frightened nor cajoled into accepting evil as deliverance from evil. We must go on struggling to be human, though monsters of abstraction police and threaten us. These words resonate deeply, especially in times of uncertainty and fear. They remind us of the importance of holding on to our humanity, of striving to remain compassionate and courageous, even when faced with overwhelming challenges. Colbert concluded his reflection by saying, So if there's some relationship between my faith and my comedy, it's that no matter what happens, you are never defeated. You must understand and see this in the light of eternity and find some way to love and laugh with each other. In the spirit of this wisdom, Let us find ways to integrate love and laughter into our daily lives. Even when the world feels heavy, even when we're faced with personal trials, remember that we are never truly defeated. Our faith, whether in a higher power in humanity or in the resilience of the human spirit, can guide us through. Our faith, whether in a higher power in humanity, or in the resilience of the human spirit, can guide us through. Let's take a moment to consider practical stories and examples of how love, laughter, and resilience manifest in everyday life. These stories come from our wonderful listeners who shared their personal experiences with us. Finding Light in Darkness Meet Emily, a nurse who worked tirelessly during the peak of the pandemic. The hospital corridors echoed with uncertainty and fear. Yet, Emily found ways to bring moments of joy to her patients. She shared jokes, played uplifting music, and celebrated small victories with her colleagues. Despite the exhaustion and emotional toll, 
Emily's laughter and love became a beacon of hope for many. Her story reminds us that even in the darkest times, we can find light through our connections and shared humanity. The Power of Community Consider the story of Ravi, a shop owner in a small town hit hard by an economic downturn. With businesses closing and families struggling, Ravi decided to start a community kitchen. Every evening, he and volunteers cooked meals for those in need. The kitchen became more than just a place for food. It was a gathering spot where people shared stories, laughter, and support. Ravi's initiative showed that in giving ourselves to others, we can foster resilience and build stronger, more compassionate communities. Humor as a healing tool. Then there's John, a man who faced a life-altering diagnosis. Initially overwhelmed by fear and uncertainty, John decided to approach his treatment with humor. He wore funny hats to his chemotherapy sessions, shared light-hearted anecdotes with fellow patients, and maintained a blog filled with humorous takes on his journey. John's laughter didn't diminish the seriousness of his situation, but it provided a much-needed relief and a powerful reminder that joy can coexist with pain. These stories illustrate the profound impact of integrating love and laughter into our daily lives. They teach us that resilience isn't about avoiding hardships, but facing them with an open heart and a sense of humor. Interestingly, even famous pop stars are curious about these insights. During an interview on Colbert's show, Dua Lipa asked him whether his faith and comedy overlap. Colbert's profound response, including his reflections on love, sacrifice, and humor, all came from that same conversation. In just a few short minutes, Dua Lipa reflected deeply on Colbert's explanation, recognizing the strength and perspective that humor can bring, even in challenging times. Her acknowledgement shows that these principles are universal and resonate across different walks of life. Now, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your own life. Think about the challenges you've faced and the moments when laughter and love helped you through. Perhaps it was a friend who made you laugh during a tough time. A kind gesture that uplifted your spirits or a moment of shared joy that reminded you of the beauty in life. As we walk through life's ups and downs, let's remember Colbert's wisdom. No matter what happens, we are never defeated. We can see our experiences in the light of eternity and find ways to love and laugh with each other. These simple yet profound actions can transform our lives and the lives of those around us. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. And visualize a moment when you felt strong and resilient.
picture yourself in that moment, embracing your inner strength, surrounded by love and laughter. Feel the power of those emotions within you and carry them with you as you move forward. To our dear listeners, if you have stories of your own that you would like to share, please send them in. Your experiences can inspire and uplift others, just as the stories shared today have done. Together we can create a great tapestry of resilience, love, and laughter that connects us all. Thank you for joining me today. Remember you are never truly defeated. You are resilient. You are strong and together we can find our way through. Until next time, this is Cell wishing you peace and calm.